Hey guys, I'm really excited for today's video because today I'm about to show you something that as musicians, as singers, may really change your life. And I know that this is a bold statement, but stay with me and you will see why. So today we're going to address some questions. Like, for example, is there a way to remove a guitar track from a song and replace it with your own playing, for example? Or is there a way to slow down a song when you want to learn it? Is there anything that may help you with the key of the song and possibly even show you the chords for that song so that you can learn it, so that you can jam along to it? Or is there a way to actually isolate the guitar track if you want to listen to it better when you want to transcribe it, when you want to learn it? Ultimately, is there any way to create a backing track of any song? Now, let me first tell you why all this wasn't possible so far. And essentially the reason is that when you listen to an actual song, you're listening to something which is all mixed up together. All of the instruments are mixed up and you couldn't really extract a single instrument from the song. Now, what happened is that I received an email from this company called Moises and they claim to being able to remove any instrument, any vocals from any song and also create your own jam tracks. Now, at first I was a little skeptical, so I downloaded the app, I gave it a try and it blew my mind. And that's the reason why I'm so happy that Moises decided to sponsor this video and support this channel because I'm genuinely excited to tell you everything about it. Now, yes, there are other apps, other softwares that claim to remove instruments from songs, but it never works well. So the real deal here is the high quality that you get with Moises. So what is Moises? Moises is an artificial intelligence audio separation app with a web version as well. So let me show you how it works. Now, if we open the app, you can see that I already have uh, some songs. You can also create playlists and stuff. And like we said, you can extract any instrument from any song and you can use any song from a public URL. So if I click on the plus button, it gives me the chance to choose where I want to import the song from. For example, now I'm gonna import it from a public URL. Now this, for example, is Best Part by Daniel Caesar with her. And it gives you the chance to choose how you want to extract the tracks, okay? So for example, you can choose between four tracks, two tracks, five tracks. Now I will go with five, which is vocals, drums, bass, guitar, and other, under other you can find all other instruments used. For example, it could be a string section, you know? And then you go submit and you uh, just allow for, you know, a very short amount of time to process the information and give you the tracks. Now, once opened, I'm gonna pause it now, it shows you this. It shows you literally all of the instruments, vocals, drums, bass, guitar, and others, because we went for that. And you can literally select the volumes of all of these instruments. You can remove them if you like. So if I play the song, this is the full song. But what if I want to, for example, now only hear the guitar? I'm gonna put all of the other instruments to zero. And now I've isolated just the guitar. Okay, and I can practice it, I can learn it, you know. Or maybe I want guitar and vocals only. And here is guitar and vocals. Or if I remove, the guitar, I can actually play, you know, just with her singing. So I play and she sings. Now I also want to spend a few seconds to show you guys that you can actually see the chords on screen, you know, while the, while the song goes. And that is unbelievable because it's in real time and it's quite accurate, although it's a better version. I've personally found that, for example, it doesn't show you the seventh of those chords, but you know, this is really minor. If you consider that, it's gonna show you the key and it's also gonna show you the chords for any song you want to play. So if, for example, you're practicing a pop song without seventh chords, it's really, really accurate. Now, if you click here, there is also a smart metronome, which is gonna show you what's the tempo for this song. And once you click on it, you can literally play the song and also have a metronome in the background. How cool is that? Obviously, you can select the subdivision for this metronome, but you can change the tempo. You can slow it down. You can speed it up, especially you can slow it down if you want to practice it, if you want to learn it. But if you feel like, oh, now I don't remember anymore what was the original tempo, you quickly click on reset and it goes back to the original tempo. The same thing happens with the key. It shows you the key, key of D major in this case, but you can transpose it 
to other keys, okay? Which is fantastic if you are a singer or if you play and sing at the same time, or if you have to play maybe a gig where you know that some of the songs will be in a different key. Now you can actually practice those songs in the key that you will perform and potentially create backing tracks in different keys. So yeah, like we said, we can create our own mix uh, changing the volumes of the single tracks or extracting the stems for the single tracks and when you're ready you can click export and literally export in different formats the, the stems so the single tracks or export the mix the audio mix that you've created I cannot even stress enough how cool it is for a guitarist to practice a song in this way with all of these tools and at the same time also see the chords on top in real time and you also see what's the next chord, the next couple of chords to prepare yourself. This is like something that I've never seen before. So now I want to isolate the guitar track and practice with it just with the guitar, you know, without having any other instruments or vocals. So we'll put all the rest down to zero and give it a go. So guys, I'm now on my computer using the desktop app and as you can see the interface is pretty much the same. I'm now on my library and uh, it works exactly the same way. So if I choose any of these songs, I will still be able to have all of the tracks isolated. I can also pan them like left and right, mute them and solo them, kind of like what you would do in your DAW like in Logic. I still have my smart metronome. You can actually see the wave of the tracks that you are using and you know, you can do the exact same same things that we were doing uh, on the mobile app. You have your smart metronome, the key detector with the chords and everything. And the cool thing, guys, is that, for example, um, when, I, when I play the song and I want to see the chords, yes, I can see them here in the bottom right corner, but in the desktop version, you can actually click on it and it will show you a preview of the diagrams for those chords, which, I mean, for example, for beginners, that's incredible. So now let's recap how you can use Moises to get better at guitar. So first of all, we already mentioned that you can isolate guitar tracks, you know, to listen to them better, to transcribe them, to learn them, okay? Then you can slow down the songs that you're learning to any percentage. And I know that there are other ways to do it. Even on YouTube, you can do this, but the quality and the way you can do this with this easy interface is unbelievable. Then you can also create something really original, like an arrangement, because you can just skip, for example, the vocals of your favorite artist and jam along to them. Then you can use the key detector and the chords on screen to practice, to change keys, to transpose, especially if you have to play with a singer or with a band in a different key. And you can use the smart metronome to slow down or speed up and use different rhythm subdivisions. Now, there are endless ways to use this app for your creativity or to develop, for example, your ear training. So like I said, the app is free. You can download it at the link in the description below. And there is also a premium version, uh, which is still very cheap and allows you to have more features, like for example, unlimited uploads or high quality downloads. And you can probably isolate even more uh, instruments, but most of the features are actually available in the free version. So download it at the link in the description below get comfortable with the interface, which is really easy to use and get started like that. Now, I think that Moises will become soon a must have app for any musician. So I want to tell you how I will be using Moises, which is essentially removing guitar tracks to create arrangements, to change the guitar parts of some songs and create nice video arrangements where I play the guitar parts and I use, for example, the vocals of my favorite artists, creating sort of duets, you know? So stay tuned for that especially on my Instagram profile. Now, I want to thank Moises for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Guys, make sure to download the app for free at the link in the description below. Remember that the app is constantly evolving and delivering updates, so maybe by the time you watch this video, there will be even more features, okay? Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.